So Apple have been lying to us the whole time. Apparently, iPhones, pro iPhones with 120 hertz refresh rate, don't actually have 120 hertz refresh rate, just 80. So look, here's the deal. There's been a huge debate about how regular iPhones only have 60 hertz refresh rate. If you want the 120 hertz refresh rate, well, then you got to bump up to the pro line of iPhones because the iPhone pros have 120 hertz. The argument, of course, is that all iPhones in 2024 going into 2025 should have 120 hertz as standard. We want the cheapest iPhone, the forthcoming iPhone SE4, which is coming out in 2025, to have 120 hertz as standard, but of course it's going to have 60 hertz. But apparently, we're not even getting 120 hertz refresh rate on our expensive pro iPhones. Even the Samsung A15 5G has got a 6.5 inch full HD Super AMOLED display with 90 hertz refresh rate, and it costs just 200 pounds. Not only that, but you can find it brand new for as little as 131 pounds. 131 pounds will get you 90 hertz refresh rate, which is 10 more than what we're getting on the iPhone Pros, apparently. So you spend extra to get a Pro iPhone with 120 hertz silky smooth refresh rate, and you end up with, apparently, mostly just 80 hertz refresh rate, as shown by Ice Universe on X. Ice Universe on X states that the iPhone only reaches 120 hertz when the screen recording function is on. It's only 80 hertz at other times. Ice Universe goes on to say, don't confuse the elegance and fluency of animation. For example, the animation on iOS 18 is still elegant, but it is not smooth. Anyone can feel that iOS 18 still limits the refresh rate of most scenes to 80 hertz. For Android users who are used to 120 hertz, iOS 18 looks really not smooth. This is why it's difficult for me to use the iPhone 16 Pro Max as the main mobile phone. Phone. And Ice Universe also said, if anyone still doesn't understand this, please watch this video. When scrolling through the list, iOS 18 is always locked to 80 hertz and 120 hertz is rarely seen. So what phone are you rocking right now? Let me know in the comments. What refresh rate does it have? Can you even tell the difference between 60 to 90 to 120 hertz refresh rate? And what's your thoughts on the Samsung A15 5G with that insane tech lineup for just 131 pounds? It's going to cost you a whole load of cash to get that on an iPhone. And apparently, even with the most expensive iPhone, you're going to be getting 10 hertz refresh rate less. That's not acceptable. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.